Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Advocate. Thank you for coming back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title of the video, I'm going to show you guys the five best supercars under $1.5 million. I made a video about this, um, you know, the five best supercars under $2 million, and I believe $1 million, and now I'm going to do $1.5 million. And um, if you guys can, can you guys please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And I believe we're like 30 subscribers away or so. So we could hit it today or tomorrow, and that's insane. So if you guys can just please help me out and just hit, hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get to this video. Let's talk about number five, guys. We have the Tempesta. The Tempesta was added in the import and export update. And the Tempesta is about $1.3 million, so making it fairly affordable compared to the cars that are, you know, $2 million and so. And the first looks on the Tempesta, this car is beautiful. Uh, you know, as you guys know, this is uh, the Lamborghini Huracan, and I just believe they nailed this vehicle, just the front and the side. I just think this car just looks so good, and it has uh, somewhat some good customization on it, but um, I just think this car just looks great. Everything about it, it just looks really, really nice. However, the car's performance isn't, um, you know, too well, doesn't really stand out. Uh, according to my speed test, it doesn't even rank, you know, like, not even like top 15, maybe top 20, maybe somewhere around there. But this car is not terrible. It's not slow. It does handle really, really well, but it's just not up there, um, you know, towards performance. But, I mean, maybe speed. It does handle good. I believe this vehicle is all-wheel drive, too, so that even makes it, you know, handle even better. And as you guys know, uh, you know, if you can handle a car, if a car is good handling, the speed you know it's important but like i don't know just in my opinion i'd rather drive the tempesta than like the x80 i mean the x80 it's you know one of the fastest cars in the game but it's super super um you know it handles awful and you wreck so much but so yeah the tempesta is not a terrible car you know i gotta put it on this list uh, you know pretty much it's the lamborghini huracan that's pretty much speaks for itself that car is beautiful and this car is beautiful as well but this is not a terrible car, and you guys should get your hands on it. If you guys are looking for a vehicle, you know, uh, fairly cheap, this definitely could be the car for you. In target number four, guys, we have the GP1. The GP1 was added added in the Cunning Stunts update, and this vehicle is about one two one excuse me one point two million dollars. So also making it fairly affordable compared to you know cars these days. So the first looks on this car, I believe this car is not you know it's not that good looking honestly in my opinion. I'm pretty sure I could speak for a lot of you guys. Uh, this car is just. I mean, it's not a terrible looking car, but it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. Maybe I, the way I have it customized, but I just, just think this car is not that best looking. However, the performance on the GP1 is pretty good. Uh, according to my speed test, this vehicle made it 15th, being, you know, the 15th fastest supercar in the game. So that's not terrible. You know, being the 15th fastest compared to, like, the other 42 supercars I believe there's in the game, that's not bad. And, you know, this car, it's pretty quick. You know, like I said, um, it handles pretty well as well. Uh, it's not all-wheel drive, but the handling is pretty good. And this car does have a lot of customization, actually, you can do to it. However, I just think, however you customize it, I don't really think it could look any better. Um, but, you know, this car is not a terrible car. I definitely, you know, have it on this list at number four. I feel like it stands pretty strong right there. But if you guys like the way this car looks, uh, I feel like that's a deal breaker on it. But, um, you know, not a terrible car. Uh, you know, 15th fastest, that's not awful. But if you guys like this car and just the way it looks, I'd probably get it. And starting with number three, guys, we have the Banshee 900R. The Banshee 900R was added in uh, the Lowriders update. And this vehicle could, you know, easily be number one. This vehicle is um, 100000 you know, the Banshee to buy it. And then you can put it in the Benny's uh, custom shop and make it the uh, 900R. And make it the 900R, it's about 600000 So that's like seven hundred grand, you know, to get this car. And... This car looks so beautiful, as you guys probably have seen it or driven it before. This car just looks so good, and, you know, the, it really got to upgrade. I think the 2.0 version, the 900R version, it just looks amazing. So I said this car can easily be number one because, you know, it's 600 grand to make it the 900R. And as you guys know, the 900R is, uh, like, has one of the highest top speeds for supercars in the game. However, on my speed test, I believe it ranked, like, 13th. But, you know, my speed tests aren't really top speed tests, more like acceleration. So this car, you know, being 700 grand and it's, you know, one of the fastest cars in the game, you know, top speed, um, that's actually insane. And there's so many ways you can customize this vehicle. It's probably one of the most customizable cars in the game. And there's so many ways you can change it from spoilers just to like the size of the car, like the skirts and stuff, excuse me. There's just so many ways you can change it, the headlights, all of it. It's a super, super, um, 
you know, unique. And this car is such a good car. You know, it handles pretty well. And I just think it looks really nice. And just for the price tag and the customization, it easily could be one of the best cars in the game. Or, you know, it could be one on this list. But I have it at number three simply because, you know, I base my cars off acceleration kind of, you know. And, um... I don't know. This car is just, it's fun to drive. However, it's just, uh, you know, not the one of the fastest in my opinion. And, uh, it's just a good car, but you know, it stands pretty strong at number three. And with number two guys, we have the entity XXR. The entity XXR was added in the super sports update. And this vehicle, as you guys can see, is originally really expensive, about $2.3 million. However, it is on sale as I speak, um, you know, May 14th. It is on sale right now. I don't know how long it's on sale, so you guys definitely need to take advantage of this car. This car is really, really cheap right now, being about $1.4 million on sale. In my opinion, this vehicle looks super, super beautiful. As you guys know, it is like a um, you know, a 2.0 version of the Entity X um, F, and this car just looks so, so good. I really like how they added you know, another version of this car. You know, this car was like a, um, an OG car, you know, added, uh, or the XF was added, you know, when the game first came out. And I'm just glad they just made, um, you know, another version of the car to keep it relevant. So the Entity XXR performance is really, really good. It's actually um, one of the fastest cars in the game. It's like ranked 8th on my speed test, but I do have, a, I do believe it has a really high top speed. And this car doesn't have the most customization. As you guys know, the XF really didn't either. But this car doesn't have the most. I mean, there's not too many things you can change. You can change the hood and, like, the skirts, the spoiler. That's pretty much really about it. Really nothing too crazy about this car customization-wise. But I do think this car just looks really, really nice. And especially for it being on sale for 1.3, it's definitely, you know, you have to cop this car. Um, you know, it handles pretty well. It's not all-wheel drive, but this car does handle well. And if you guys didn't know, there's a little trick with this car. Um, you can't get shot in the back of it. There's no back window. I know there's a back window right there, but it can't actually, like, hit you, if that makes any sense. If someone's shooting you in the back, you actually can't get shot. It's actually, um, I don't know, it's like a little glitch. I don't know, it's a glitch. Frocks are probably meant to do it on purpose because the XF had the same thing. But, yeah, this car is super neat. I'd definitely get your hands on the XX, uh, excuse me, Entity XXR. This car is a really, really good vehicle. And with number one, guys, the best vehicle or supercar uh, under $1.5 million, I have the 811. The 811 was added in the Finance and Felony update, and this vehicle is really, really cheap, uh, $1.1 million. It's actually insane. And the 811, um, in my opinion, it looks really, really nice. It looks different. That's why I like it. And the wheels are really big. I just think this car just looks all around. It's super beautiful. It's really different compared to, you know, the other cars and... You can take the um, top off if you'd like to, but I have it on. But this car just looks really, really nice. And if you guys didn't know, the 811 does have the highest top speed for the supercars. So this car, you know, is arguably one of the fastest. It is the fastest car in the game. But according to my speed test, it ranked, like, I believe, seventh because I kind of ranked mine a little shorter distance, not so much top speed. So this vehicle is a must cop. In my opinion, this is the best supercar in the game. Arguably, probably the best vehicle, honestly. Being a little bit over a million dollars and being, you know, the best supercar arguably in the game, that's actually insane. Um, you know, you have to spend almost like two and a half million dollars nowadays on these supercars just to, you know, keep up. And this car is just, it's been broken for, you know, ever since it came out. And this car, I don't know if it'll ever be beat, probably, but the, whichever car beats it will probably be like six million dollars. <laughs> but yeah, this car is a must cop, guys. It's probably the best car in the game. And, um, you know, there's a, pretty much, there's a good amount of customization you could do on it. And like I said, you can take off the um, drop. You can make, excuse me, you can make a convertible. I appreciate you could change the spoiler. And this car just looks really good in my opinion. And that's why I have a number one. And there you guys have it, guys. The five best supercars under $1.5 million. Let me know how you guys feel about this list. Uh, let me know which is uh, your guys' favorite vehicle on this list. Mine's definitely the 811. It's, I, in my opinion, I believe it's just the best vehicle or car in the game that you can get for your money. But um, if you guys like videos like this, can you guys please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel as I do post GTA 5 videos daily as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And like I said, we are like 30 subscribers away. So if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Help me out and we can reach that goal. And uh, without further ado, my name's Advocate. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.